Well, it's another good uh, evening. Uh, it's another good weekend of an action packed weekend uh, that has had a lot, a lot happening on the world uh, championship calendar and, of course, come down on the national rally championship. Much anticipated action is coming under your way. And, of course, I have a lot, a lot in this today's show. And, of course, we are going to have a little uh, pick in a little bit of the Mbarala Ratomeric Mbarala rally that is slated to be running next weekend. That is on the 29th to the 31st of uh, January. Uh, it's the 23rd day of January 26, uh, 2016. My name is Frank Hesser. I'm going to present you today's show. And of course, I have uh, on the guest list, I have the uh, FMU Vice uh, uh, Technical. Uh, that's Katende Muchibi. He's in as earlier we promised in our last uh, uh, series of the program. We promised to have him in the studio to explain us uh, how the NCR is going to be running. And of course, uh, talk about the much, much, uh, much debatable uh, sequential uh, mod modified uh, gearbox running in the next uh, coming uh, rally. Uh, well, uh, we're going to discuss a lot about that. And of course, uh, on the international block, uh, we have the ready running uh, Roll of Monte Carlo that is already underway. And of course, much action is already happening. And of course, we have much, much happening on the way. And of course, those who can, uh, those who can make a fall up on the same link, you just go to www.wrc.com. You will definitely have the latest. Uh, Upraising uh, update, latest update from the Royal of Monte Carlo. Uh, we from the Royal of Monte Carlo, we shall talk about briefly, we shall talk about the Formula One, the 2016 calendar, uh, how it's going to be happening down in the new arena of racing. That's Abedjib. And, and of course, we are going to have, uh, they're going to have the first of their kind on the, the, the World Racing Championship. That's a Formula One. And uh, we actually, uh, of that, we shall not actually, we are very sorry. Uh, we are not going to be able to get your phone calls uh, because we will think, uh, as last time, we missed out a few outlines. And we have want to improvise much of the local time discussing much about the NCR as the rules, of course. And, of course, the rules take a precedent. And, of course, we always seen the contravicting uh, uh, attitude and clauses in uh, the Bible of the motorsport uh, running. That is uh, the FIA uh, book that's under which we all race and compete against. And of course, so we get set uh, underway. Uh, we get away with the role of Monte Carlo. And of course, who is speaking uh, in the block of the week uh, before the closing, as before coming to the action turning in today, we had the world, uh, three-time world champion, Sebastian Ogier saying, much of the pressure makes him more, more stronger. And of course, we are going to uh, yet witness this under running in the rally that is already underway and uh, it had the start with uh, a, an earlier block running that is a super special stage running on the Friday Thursday night and it was much action happening underway. Oje says he's uh, actually his trick as a world championship title winner. His feeling is stronger than ever and he prepares to defend uh, his crown this uh, weekend. He has won the Royal of Monte Carlo uh, three times in a row and we hope maybe he may rewrite the records and taking it again another time and remember the other last moment when his other former mentor that is uh, the person who was under the cruise for a back-to-back -back winning that Sebastian Robb uh, tried his way out but then it was unfortunate he was ruled out of uh, uh, the stages after blocking the rear suspension and hitting the car to uh, this repair in that very rally that is already underway today. Uh, well, uh, speaking uh, actually earlier before, speaking from his French base in Gap, close to the village where he grew up, Auger said, while he was under underestimating the challenge of upcoming the 14 round, uh, the 2016 14 WRC rounds, uh, his track record made him easier as uh, we get to see the earlier testing. Let's get a bit of the ambience and the epic uh, look out of the stages of how it's really happening. And we get to hear from the world champions.
Well, well, that's uh, some of uh, the surface uh, that is under running. Well, while rally champions are trying their luck to see themselves and uh, keep their heads up as in the sea. Uh, well, on the same note, earlier a team of the RRC crew went out and did a test of the roads uh, on the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, of course, they did Reiki. And, of course, they had the following. Actually, they had opportunity to let uh, the world know of how the surface is looking for the drivers that are trailing to see themselves at the end of the day on a victor celebration. Uh, or one of the identities, I said the report actually about the weather, they say uh, the rally is much, much famous for its unpredictable and fast changing winter weather uh, with the stages in Houghton's Alps and of course the Alps Mountains region have been a mixture of this year. And of course, as in earlier, in the earlier stage of Thursday, uh, we had uh, actually, it was bonely, actually bonny uh, dry, while the second stage, that's the SS2, uh, was 80% snow and ice covered, as you may see over there. And of course, many guys uh, struggled in through. In the general, the sub zero temperatures of uh, uh, the Royal of Monte Carlo makes people much, much, much plan ahead of what's happening each stage. Of course, uh, the weather has been a little bit unpredictable and, uh, of course, uh, putting or uh, forcing teams uh, too much uh, plan for their crews uh, as in ahead of each stage they're rolling into. And uh, in the same way, the tire, of course, the men uh, to be staying on the top will have to be selective on the tires to be running on over with all the stages running. Of course, Monte Carlo is notorious for the, the complex tire uh, text, and this year looks more bigger in exception. And with the WRC drivers having a maximum of 20 soft tires, what does that mean? Of course, the surface too much of the icing. A uh, bit of it is taking a big percentage of the rally, and of course, 24 are super soft also fight uh, uh, tires in their disposal and as well as the 12 winter tires uh, is a paramount as a prerequisite to the team if they have to make the stages out uh, with the best time running. Away uh, from uh, the WRC we go straight on to the Formula 1 uh, and of course the Formula 1 I earlier told you uh, we are having much action uh, start at uh, it will be starting not anywhere further but at the new arena that's the, the rally arena that has been newly designed in Abidjan it's one of the few countries that have had the chance to be uh, enlisted on the uh, Formula One calendar. And of course, we're going to have a few uh, guys uh, much uh, preparing. And of course, well, guess what? Uh, the Mark, uh, the Mark Rowling has given up on the winter holidays to get ready for 2016, uh, uh, the 2016 uh, uh, championship. Uh, the Christmas holidays for the traditional Mark Rowling team has been short-lived. Uh, short and of course, they have been asked uh, uh, to rechange uh, as in uh, the fraternity to relax and rechange their batteries. Uh, but the Mark Marine have revised uh, that some of their staff and uh, to forego the festive break and in order to get their new car ready for the start of the pre-season testing. And the change of the provision calendar was a source of difficulties to different teams of the, uh, the rally. Actually, the, the different teams, I beg your pardon, different teams of uh, Formula One. And confirmed the date uh, is, of course, uh, March 20th, uh, uh, 2016, leaving Mark Rallin. And no doubt of the number of their rivals scrambling to adjust their schedule. And of course, we see, as you see, the champions of different teams uh, uh, trying to get a lax off. And some of the few, uh, those are the few, some of the outlines that are outlined in the new rules. And of course, the, the adjustment of the new rules to be followed this time around uh, with uh, a, one of the cars. Of course, we had the safety cars running ahead of other drivers. But there have been an adjustment where some safety cars won't be actually. They need to be a little bit faster. And of course, the lanes, the new rules are no going wild on the lens with no intentions of takeover taking but of course it has been so much of the fix and a few rules to be looked at in at all on back to the macaron team the entire team program has been reshaded and was lined up for that and macaron operations director simon roberts told the team website that he will be he knew no other problem to solve that in terms of design and engineering but of course he to look at the capacity and the performance of their car as they look ahead of the start of the season let's get up the ambience and get to hear from the champions and the teams what they're saying ahead of uh, the new year opener that is in Abidjan. Formula One, the greatest competition. Cars designed and engineered by the brightest minds, driven to the edge and beyond by the world's chosen few. Teams rise and fall, drivers come and go, but echoes of the past always remain. Competing in arenas that have stood the test of time, where glory and failure
area are separated by fractions. Where victories are rescued from the jaws of defeat, this is where history is made. This is Formula One. So you take both of you out so I can go through? Yes? No? <laughs> Try. <laughs> You will always be in our hearts. You okay, Max? I'm okay. I've lost this race, haven't I? I'm really sorry about that, Lewis, mate. Please stop talking to me, please. Perez finishes third. Romain Grosjean takes a podium finish. What a superb achievement. Safety guy has been deployed. Box this lap, box, box. Oh, here we go, we're going back to racing. And to be careful, Bottas goes into second place. Hamilton has won his third world championship. Well, well, that's much of uh, a picking through of what's going to be coming ahead of you in the world of Formula One. Of course, we are going to have to a uh, break, and of course, we are going to be coming back straight away on the set with FMU Vice uh, President Technical, that's uh, Katenda Mchivi. Well, we thank all those Yuga fans who are trying to get uh, to keep us close with this show. Of course, I appreciate I send my regards out to, to those who are in the people in Chikubo. And, of course, Vale Kamiya talk about uh, Seruanga, Muzee Sikurunia. I appreciate your efforts of keeping gruesome on the TV set and then other guys who have always been uh, made it upon yourself to always sit down on your TV sets and uh, watch motorsport from the start to the end. Uh, let's get on to the break and come back with the local uh, content of it. <laughs> 